Hello guys, I'm here to actually uh, show you how I actually fixed at least, uh, I'm not sure if it's a band-aid fix, but how I fixed my Dell laptop running Linux Mint 18 Sarah. Um, having the loud fan issue, basically the fan kept running at a hundred percent. I'm not sure if you could guys, I could get this in the recording, but my fan is actually, because I'll be doing it while doing the video to apply the fix. Um, I ins uninstalled everything um, so I could show you how I do it. I'm not sure if I could get this on the recording, but my fan is actually uh, running at full speed right now. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys got that, but it's actually running right now. So uh, before we start, I'd like to give you a background. This is a Dell Inspiron 5521 which is actually running an i7 um, processor. It shows four, but it's actually a dual core. Each core, it's two threads. So it's actually showing uh, four CPUs here under system monitor. So um, I'm running Linux Mint 18 Sarah, 64 bit. Um, the kernel I'm running right now is 4.4.0-34, um, made 1.14.1. Um, excuse me, it's actually configured with 8 gigs of RAM. This machine, uh, specific machine, has Intel HD that comes with the uh, CPU. It also has uh, a discrete graphics card, which is an AMD HD 8730M, which I don't actually use. Uh, I'm not sure, but as far as I know, the, the most current proprietary drivers from AMD doesn't work with uh, Linux Mint 18. I'm not sure if that's true, but I don't want to try. Um, also, it comes with 8 gigs of RAM. And uh, I did change the, the boot drive to a 256 uh, Plexor SSD drive. And the 1 terabyte mechanical hard drive that came with the machine I'm using for data storage. I don't have an optical drive on this machine. Now, I'm just laying it out, the, the specs of the machine, uh, so that you know um, what machine I was able to uh, apply the fix for okay I'm not sure if it will work with other Dell machines um, your machines might have a different configuration aside I mean different from what I have but uh, it doesn't hurt to try as well it might actually fix the problem you're having like I said I will call it a fix but I'm not really sure if it's a permanent fix but it does work for me so I'll, I'll call it a fix from my end so I usually start uh, by opening up uh, or installing um, LM sensors. Uh, there's two ways to do it. One is by, uh, by the terminal, the other one is by the software manager. So, uh, but most of the time what I do is um, I do the uh, terminal install. Uh, but just so you can see, uh, if I search for LM sensors here, oh, I'm sorry. So uh, let's search for LM sensors. See, as you can see, <coughs> there's three reviews here. Um, but I won't be using it. I'll be using here. Okay, so I'll type in sudo app get install lm sensors. Okay. So okay, as you can see, it installed the sensor. Okay. So now you could run sensors, or if you want to do sensor detect, what I normally do is oh sorry, sudo sensors detect. As you can see. This won't actually detect any of the sensors on my machine. Oh, there's one for the Intel uh, thermal sensor, uh, basically core temp, which actually doesn't really show you the fan speed, but as you can actually hear the fan uh, mechanically running at full speed. So I'll just use, um, okay, since I'm using a uh, radio, just put yes here. Yes, I'm um, sorry, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm not sure how go long this goes, but the last time I run this, okay. So nothing follows. Uh, summary of the probes. Uh, it asks you to do that. Uh, add that to etc modules. So I'll just, um, <coughs> I'll just put yes to have it add it, you know, automatically for me. And if I do. Uh, I do a sudo or no need I think I just do a nano slash etc slash modules as you can see we had a core temp there uh, I did I did try earlier so let me just remove this one 
Uh, I did try, see, as you can see, there's a Delft, Delft fan controller, i8K there. I did try that, that you know, those common um, solutions you find online. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me just use no. Um, common solutions online, which actually tells you uh, with, a, you know, quite a lot of steps to try and fix this problem. I, I'm not sure if it's a problem, but I think it's more of a um, sensor issue. Uh, I'll show you in a while. Let me just save this. Um, okay. Uh, X, yes. Okay. So let me let's clear that out. So now if I run sensors now, as you can see, it actually detects that I have two cores. Uh, I'm not sure if this is accurate regarding the temperature, but the only one, one thing that's missing here, uh, there's actually a lot missing, but more the most important one for me is the fan speed. It doesn't detect the fan for this machine. So with that installed, what I do next is I install i8K utilities or utils. So you, like I said, there's two ways to do it. You could do the, uh, the terminal or you could do the software manager. If I do a search here for you, okay, see it's not installed, but I would normally install it using the terminal. So sudo app get install i8K utils like that. So uh, yeah, press enter, have that installed. Okay, so that is installed now. Okay, uh, let me do sensors again. Okay, just to check. Okay, so I have the i8K utilities installed. All right, so I'll close this out. Now, what you want to do next is you don't need to do the mod probe, you don't need to do the modules thing. Uh, what I did for mine to actually fix it is go ahead and automatically or Go right ahead and jump to uh, creating the configuration file. The way you do it is you could, uh, not really. You could you could use your own or your favorite text editor. Could be Nano, could be Gedit, um, it could be anything. So for me, I use lift, uh, Liftpad. So I'll do sudo Liftpad. At the location would be you have to create this. It's not automatically created for you. So slash etc slash ik8. Oh, I'm sorry, i8k um, monitor for mon dot conf. Okay, so I have my configuration saved here. This is the one I was using earlier. So let me just copy that and paste it here. And oh, I'm sorry, let me just close the other one. Okay, I'll close this out. So let me just explain. Uh, basically, this is standard, pretty much standard. Uh, this is the one that's important. As you can see, there's actually two. The one below here, it's for a computer with two fans. This laptop that I have is, has only have, uh, it only has one fan. Now, if this solution doesn't work for you, you might want to try and uh, uncomment this out and play around with the settings here if your machine has two fans. So the way this goes is there's actually uh, three configurations. Um, as you can see, since I only have one fan, um, the left fan, uh, the left fan, I actually leave as negative one, meaning it's not there, okay? And there's a uh, fan is off, which is zero. Uh, fan is like um, slow or medium setting, and two would be the the fastest setting. Okay, and this would be this would be the uh, maximum and minimum uh, temperatures. Uh, I play around with this. You guys might want to play around with this depending on how you use your machine. But this is the setting I find suited for uh, my laptop and the way I use it. So where it goes is if you notice I put it I put this at 59 not above 60 or 61 or 60 or above 60 uh, the way uh, this works for me is when of course the temperature actually fluctuates it goes up and down uh, from time to time uh, what this does for me is before it even reaches 60 or uh, before it even reaches 60 or before or so that I could actually stop the, f the temperature from going beyond 60 is once the temperature, once IK detects that the temperature, you know, uh, hits 59, it tries to run the fan at full speed, uh, therefore lowering down the temperature. Okay, so you got to play around with the settings right here. If you have a single fan, if you have a dual fan, then you'll have to play around the settings. Don't forget to uncomment the, the settings here, the settings. And once you're done, you click on save, okay, and then close this out. Next thing you need to do is you need to create a startup file. Right, uh, you have to make sure that um, IK8 monitor uh, starts up when your Linux starts up. So what I do is for Linux Mint Mate, at least uh, 18, there's a startup option here. Just search for startup, 
and then uh, what I did is I actually had it uh, done already so you had just click on add um, it should open up something like this okay all right oh no oh, let me edit something like this you just I just put in the name I 8k monitor and then this is the command okay uh, this is the command it that's gonna be ran when you um, boot up your system and then I just put a comment so that I know what that is for their laptop uh, fan control program so once that is done uh, click on close what I normally do just to make sure to test it out is I restart my machine so once you restart your machine you try and check uh, see if the fan you know goes on and off that means your temperature goes on and off that also depends on the configuration temperatures that you put on the configuration file so I uh, hope this this help you guys out. Um, I'll put uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'll put a list of the instructions on the description below. If this helps you out, maybe you could share it to people. Uh, just give the link for the YouTube video. Uh, who knows? It might help other people as well. Because when you do a go uh, quick Google search for Dell fan and Linux, there's quite a lot of people having problems like this. So this might actually help someone. Might not help everyone, but uh, it would be good if we could help a lot of people. We're gonna by using this video. So thank you and uh, thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.